All right, NAM and calibration metadata. So this is a new feature that's been included in uh, NAM in December 2024. Um, maybe even earlier than that uh, for the trainer side, but um, I decided to do a quick video for folks uh, so that can act they can actually uh, make the most of profiles, which include this uh, new type of metadata for calibration. Now, why are folks going up and down about calibration? Uh, for me, it's all about consistency and fidelity. Now, if I shoot a profile of an amp on my signal chain, um, my expectation uh, from profiling is accuracy first and foremost, and then I would ideally like that the user experience of somebody who tries my profile on a different chain is the same as mine, or uh, as close as possible to me plugging into my own uh, signal chain, right? And this is where calibration shines, right? You can actually uh, gain stage um, levels so that you can uh, pretty much have the profile behave as if you were plugging straight in, right, into the input of an amp or a pedal and so on. There are two prerequisites over here uh, that you need to address and they're very easy to, to knock out. So the first one, I'm just going to minimize this to get it out of the way. The first one is to identify the instrument input uh, on our interface, on the audio interface, and just turn that knob all the way down. Um, just because focus right is pretty much the most widely used one, I'm just going to put a screenshot over here. So if this is where your guitar goes in, your instrument input, and this is the gain knob associated with that uh, input, just turn it all the way down. I know there are different takes on this. There's a better way to maximize signal to noise ratio, but I'm assuming that uh, users or most users aren't necessarily, um, you know, audio engineers and so on. So just to get, you know, people, you know, uh, up and running, you know, just go with this. If you become very um, uh, knowledgeable in this topic, then you can by all means explore. Um, so once we got this down, uh, the next thing to do is we have to identify what the maximum input gain or input level for this interface is when the knob is all the way at zero. Um, you can find this uh, on uh, most manufacturers' uh, manuals or inside uh, the manuals for your audio interfaces. I'm just going to roll with the scarlet over here. So um, if you go straight up, usually what I do is I do Control F and I just go maximum input. All right, and you, you already get a couple of hits, but you, you don't necessarily want to go for the first one. Remember, we need to look at the instrument input, all right? So this is microphone, this is instrument, right? And this is what we're after, 13 dBU. Uh, this basically just tells us that just for this interface, the Scarlet and Audient, UAD, RME, they can be different. The Quad Cortex has a different rating. It basically just tells you that your interface can take a certain amount of voltage before you see zero dBFS, before you clip your converters in the DAW. This is probably like 3.4 uh, volts RMS or something like that. There are a couple of converters online. You can look them up and you can do the math if you really want the specifics. Now, with these two things out of the way, um, we can actually move to identifying profiles with calibration metadata. You might get them out of uh, the Facebook group, forums, or usually what I do is I just go to Tone 3000. All right, and you're going to see it, uh, you know, render over here. You see the page. Uh, and it, this is basically the largest repository of NAM profiles uh, to date. So you can go to browse and then you can just filter uh, in the technical section just flip the switch to calibrate it and it'll only render profiles which have calibration metadata um, just gonna look for this one over here and I'm just gonna get one that has a lot of gain and I'll show you why exactly right now before we move into the DAW, there's another very important prerequisite, and that's the fact that you need to have the NAM plugin version 0.7.12 or newer for this to work. Otherwise, the earlier versions, uh, they don't have support for the, the new metadata for the calibration, right? So it has to be 0.7.12 or newer. 
right? So if I go into the DAW, right, uh, you, you have this gear button and you'll see that I have 0, 7, 13, all right? So I'm just gonna get an IR because my profile is going to be a DI and the profile which is going to be over here and you're gonna get a sound no matter what I mean calibration or not but whether that's going to be a good sound or not it's probably you know it's a toss of a coin This is where the magic happens. Click on the gear and you'll see this calibrate input uh, button being uh, disabled by default. Enable it and key in the value that you have over here, right? So 13. Just can and hit return and that's it. Alright, um, you're good to go. So now that profile should technically behave uh, as exactly as Nathan intended it to sound. Now oh, you'll hear a lot of noise, so um, there's uh, uh, a quick tip for getting rid of the noise and uh, that's pretty much using Bertram Denoiser. The way I use it, uh, and thanks to Jason's Dora for um, uh, showing this uh, to the community, just put it behind, or sorry, uh, in front of your plugins and, and the signal chain. Uh, turn these sliders to zero. All right. Enable the high frequency bias and then just slowly bring the threshold up until you get silence. Right. And that's about it. There's a, a little bit of uh, fiddling around that you need to do, um, just in case. Like NAM profiles are very dynamic, so if you write the volume button so profiles can clean up, uh, you're going to have to find that sweet spot where um, the noise uh, cancellation kicks in and your tone is still alive. Right? So let me show. You. This is without the noise gate, all right? So you can enable the noise gate for even more chaga chaga stuff. Right. So anyway, that about covers it. So too long, TLDR. <laughs> um, get NAM plugin version 0.7.12 at the very least. Uh, turn your gain up all the way down on your instrument input. Figure out what your maximum input level is from the manual, right? On the instrument input. Key that M value in inside the uh, plugin, enable the calibrate input, and uh, look on tone 3000 for calibrated profiles, right? When you filter. That's about it. Thanks a lot, and hope YouTube renders it uh, this, uh, <laughs> renders it okay this time around. Cheers, guys.